The Cisco Academy has just released its new CCNA 5.0 curriculum. And along with the release of that curriculum, they've also released the new version of Packet Tracer, Packet Tracer 6. So I've opened Packet Tracer 6 and it has some really nice cool features. Let's look at some of the new features. I'll click on End Devices and drag out a PC. Okay, we'll open up the PC. And if we look at the config tab, you'll see on the left hand side here that now we have access to a firewall. So we can create rules for our firewall. And there's an also an IPv6 firewall. If we go to desktop and we click IP configuration, you can see that you can easily configure IPv4 settings here. And now IPv6 settings can go right here. So Packet Tracer 6 has much better support for IPv6. And IPv6 is a much bigger piece to the CCNA5 curriculum. If we drag out a server, I'll put the server out here. The server has some cool capabilities as well. I'm going to open up the server. And first thing I'm going to do is say, OK, what if this server, we wanted to have more than one interface? So I can turn off the server. And let's go grab a, I'll click on, this is a gigabit ethernet port. And I'll just drop that into this open module here and turn it back on. And now the server is capable of running two NICs. If I go to the config tab and I go down to interface, you can see that it sees this gigabit ethernet port that we've added. And I can configure it. And you can see that the IPv6 configurations are also here. And there's the other port. If we look at the services, here's all the servers that you can run on the server. You have web server, DHCP server, TFTP, DNS server, syslog, AAA, NTP, and this is new, uh, email, an FTP server, and you can see that this server is also equipped with a firewall and an IPv6 firewall. And that's much more realistic for real world scenarios that you're trying to emulate on your packet tracer environment. As far as networking devices go, if we go to routers, you can see that the new 1941 router is listed along with a 2900 and a 2911 router. Let's take a look at the 1941 router first. I'm going to click on the 1941 router. You can see the new shape, physical shape and design of the router. You can see it has two open module bays here. And an interesting new addition is the addition of this HWIC 8A module or card that you can put into this empty slot or empty bay. Now this HWIC 8A card is a terminal server or access server card which enables a router to serve up to eight console connections or TTY connections to eight console ports on eight networking devices. This is really interesting to me because recently I had an occasion to install and configure a card just like this for a NetLab that we installed and configured for the lab. If we go to the command line interface and open it up, I'll issue a enable command and then a show run command to look at the running configuration. You can see that the iOS version here is 15.1. I will do a show version command and you can see right here version 15.1-1.m4. So this is the new iOS 15 that comes installed on the new Cisco 1941 routers. This iOS version 15 is the iOS that's used in the new Cisco CCNA 5.0 curriculum. So it's nice to have access to it on this 1941 router. Let's take a look at this 2901 router. You can see that it's a large router with a lot of open bays that you can attach cards to. And if we go to the command line interface, you can see that, I'll say enable, show version. You can see that it's also using iOS 15. So that's nice. And you have access to this 
2900 router and then this one is a 2911 router. You can see Cisco 2911K9. Okay, unfortunately if we go to switches the 2960 series switches are still using iOS 12 as opposed to iOS 15. If we click on connection types and scroll all the way to the right you'll see the asynchronous octal cables that are used or the async octal cables that are used for that new HWIC 18A card. Now along with all these new features there are plenty of features for an instructor who wants to create their own packet tracer exams or graded packet tracers. There's excellent multi-user capabilities as well as the capability for packet tracer to actually connect out into actual uh, physical devices. I hope to cover some of these new features and how to configure them in some upcoming videos.